pied de gloire qui es aux cieux en toi la gloire Dieu de gloire qui es aux cieux à toi Ten message of the Lord Jesus to all who refuse to do the will of God in the choice of their spouse. The Lord spoke with me in these terms and said, Truly, in truth my law is superior to that of tribes, races, peoples, and nations. It is I who instituted marriage, and this is governed by my law. My word declares Proverbs 18.22. He who finds a woman finds happiness. It's a grace he gets from the Lord. Genesis 2.18, 21-24. The Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a help like himself. Then the Lord God made a deep sleep fall on the man, who fell asleep. He took one of his ribs, and closed the flesh in its place. And Jehovah God formed a woman from the coast which he had taken from man, and brought him to man. And the man said, This time is that bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She will be called a woman, because she has been taken from the man. Therefore the man will leave his father and his mother, and will cleave to his wife, and they will become one flesh. According to my word, the one a man will call his wife is the bone of his bones, the flesh of his flesh, the flesh that was taken from him. It is written, whoever finds a woman finds happiness. It means one who finds the bone of his bones, the flesh of his flesh, the one that has been taken from him finds happiness. He who does not find the bone of his bones, the flesh of his flesh, that which has been drawn from him, finds not happiness, but misfortune. He who has the wife of another man with him, that is to say, who is married at the coast of another man, is a thief, and no thief will inherit the kingdom of heaven. 1 Corinthians 11, 8-9 Indeed, the man was not pulled from the woman, but the woman was pulled from the man. And the man was not created because of the woman but the woman was created because of the man. Any man who has not married the one drawn from him will not see me at the end of his life on earth. Reciprocally, the one who has not married the one from whom she is drawn will not see me at the end of her life on earth. Isaiah 31 Woe, says the Lord, to rebellious children, who take resolutions without me, and make covenants without my will, to accumulate sin upon sin. All who have married without my will, will not see me at the end of their life on earth. Any current marriage celebrated throughout the world that I have not confirmed through the Father of Nations is not of my will. I ask all those who have married without my will, all over the world, 
to separate the body, and seek my face in the fasts and prayers until they obtain from me an answer or a solution to their problem. If on the contrary, they say to each other, I love you, I cannot live without you, you are very beautiful, you are beautiful and vigorous, when you hold me in the bed I am in love when they end up in hell, they will know that they can live without each other. Warning. 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 Capital problem for all pastors, evangelists, doctors, missionaries, prophets and apostles. Leviticus 2113. He will take a virgin for a wife. Every pastor, doctor, evangelist, missionary, scribe, teacher, prophet, apostle among my children all over the world who did not marry a virgin woman will not see my face after the end of their life on earth. All the faithful who are under the guidance of such men of God will not see me also at the end of their life on earth. Unless if it is I who gives them a woman who is not a virgin as was the case of my prophet Hosea. Hosea 1, 2-3 The first time the Lord spoke to Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take a prostitute and children of prostitution. Because the land is prostituted, it abandons the Lord. He went and took Goma, daughter of Deblain. She conceived, and bore him a son unless if it is myself who reveals it to them and who confirms it through the father of the nations as was the case between the father of the nations and the mother of the nations Christian Sarah, between Paul Riker and Linda, between David O'Wur and Claire and Down, but both refused my proposal and the whole world saw how Claire ended her life and now she is in hell. It is also my will confirmed through the father of the nations for the union between my son Joshua Isaac and my daughter Esther Rebecca. Here is what I declare to all my sons and all my daughters in the whole world. I emphasize this, and this statement must be seriously considered for anyone who wants to see me and reign with me at the end of his life on earth. Any marriage that I have not confirmed by the Father of Nations is not from me, so it is not my will. Every concerned couple must separate from the body. Seek my face in fasting and praying in order to obtain from me an answer or a solution to this problem. When I ask the men of God to take a virgin as a wife that does not mean to go and just take a virgin to get by. Far from there. The virgin must be the bone of the bones, the flesh of the flesh and be drawn from the man of God in question. I ask that everything be done in my absolute will. I am the Lord. Some may say, how would that be possible? A virgin woman for a man of God at a time when prostitution is at its height, and where girls are almost deflowered at a young age. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything amazing about me? My word declares. 1 Samuel 15:22. Behold, obedience is better than sacrifice, and the observance of his word is better than the fat of rams. Then whoever wants to see me and reign with me the King of kings, the Lord of lords, no matter his wealth, his glory, his wisdom, the anointing that is upon him and the number of years of ministry, is obliged to conform to my present declarations that I give to the whole world through the Father of Nations.
My word says. Proverbs 5, 15-17 Drink the waters of your cistern, the waters that come out of your well. Do your sources have to spread abroad? Should your brooks flow on the public places? May they be for you alone, and not for strangers with you. A woman is a well in which man drinks water and each man must drink water in his own well and not in the well of others. Anyone who goes against this command hurts his soul. I am the Lord and my word does not change. Isaiah 5 5 1 0 1 1 As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and return not without watering, fertilizing the earth, and making the plants germinate, without giving seed to the sower and bread to the one who eats, so is my word, coming out of my mouth, it does not return to me without effect, without having performed my will and accomplished my purposes. Right Angle Quotes among all my creatures, this is the man I loved most. Besides, it is he alone that I did in my image and according to my likeness. In this great love, I gave him this command. You will be able to eat all the trees of the garden, but you will not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, because the day you eat it, you will die. That's the order I gave. But after me, the enemy presented himself to the woman and said to him, You will not die. But God knows that the day you eat it, your eyes will open, and you will be like gods, knowing good and evil. The woman rather believed in the lie of the enemy than in the truth that I told them. She seduced the man who ate it too. They have disobeyed my word believing that it is the enemies that would be fulfilled. Is it really what was accomplished? No. The enemy had said to them you will not die. Today everyone sees that it is my word that has been fulfilled. From the disobedience of my word came the unfortunate consequence, death. Since that time man has been dying until today, and it will be so until the end of time, for I said, the day you eat it, you will die. My word does not change. Isaiah 5511 So is my word coming out of my mouth. It does not return to me without effect without having performed my will and accomplished my purposes. Although my children are aware of this sad reality, they continue to believe lies rather than truth. They do it to their ruin. When I saw that Adam and Eve disobeyed my command, I said to the woman, I will increase the suffering of your pregnancies, you will give birth with sorrow, and your desires will come to your husband, but he will rule over you. Then I said to the man, Since you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree for which I gave you this command, you shall not eat it. The ground will be cursed because of you. It is with difficulty that you will draw your food every day of your life. It will produce thorns and brambles, and you will eat grass of the fields. It is by the sweat of your face that you will eat bread until you return to the earth from which you were taken, for you were dust and will return to the dust. These words have also been fulfilled, and it is clear. Whatever the high standard of sanctification life attained by a woman, when she becomes pregnant, she always endures suffering. Also for man, 
whatever the high level of sanctification life attained by a man, he must work hard to feed himself and his family. Disobedience always has a consequence. When I told Abram that he who will come out of your womb will be your heir, Genesis 15, 4, according to my word and my will, the heir would come from the union between Abraham and his wife Sarah. But according to Sarah, my promise was not fulfilled quickly. She persuaded her husband and gave him his servant Agar to have her posterity. Is this my will for Abraham? Abraham listened to his wife's voice and lay down with another who was not the bone of his bones or the flesh of his flesh. This disobedience has also led to consequences all over the world until today. This posterity that did not come from my will, but came from the will of the flesh, is at the origin of the uprisings, attacks and terrorist attacks, murders, barbarities perpetrated by Al-Qaeda, the Boko Haram sect and other groups. When Abraham disobeyed and wants to have a son who does not come from my will, here is what I said. Genesis 16:12. He will be like a wild ass. His hand will be against all, and the hand of all will be against him. And he will dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Right angle quotes. I did not establish my covenant with this son. Finally the promise I made to Abraham was fulfilled. He had a son of Sarah his wife. This was my absolute will for Abraham. Before the promise is fulfilled, here is what I said to Abraham. Genesis 17:21. I will establish my covenant with Isaac, which Sarah will bear you at this time of next year. Right angle quotes. All who do my will are in my covenant. They will see me at the last day. Isaac was born by Sarah according to my will. I made my covenant with him, and now he is in heaven. All who do not do my will do not remain in my covenant. They will not see me at the last day. All those who reject my words that I give to the whole world through the father of the nations do not do my will. They do not remain in my covenant. Therefore, they will not see me at the last day unless they repent. I am a most holy God, and those who want to worship me or want to serve me must be holy. I am not a scavenger. So I do not eat corpses, and I do not drink in a soiled and unclean vessel. This is what my word says Acts 21, 9. He had four virgin daughters who prophesied. 2 Timothy 2, 19-21. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God remains standing with his words which serve him as seal the Lord knows those who belong to him. And whosoever utters the name of the Lord, let him depart from iniquity. In a large house there are not only vases of gold and silver, but there are also wood and earth. Some are vessels of honor, and others are of base use. If, then, someone keeps himself clean, by abstaining from these things, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified, useful to his master, proper to every good work. Then those who claim to profess prophecy or those who claim to be prophetesses must review their lives and ask themselves if they are working for me, or if it is for Satan that they work. Those who work for me must conform their lives to the principle and standard of my word. 
If any man keeps himself clean, abstaining from these things, he will be a sanctified vessel of honor, useful to his master for every good work. Those who belong to me and who want to exercise function in my field, must spend their life combing through. How can one who is deflowered and pierced continually by any class of men, how can the one who puts on the jewels and sirens and who sinks into a disparate life come from me? My word is clear. He had four virgin girls who were prophesying. If, therefore, one keeps clean, abstaining from these things, he will be a sanctified vessel of honor, and useful to his master for all good works. If a prophetess, a servant, or a servant believes that he is coming sincerely from me, then he must take cognizance of his transgressions, reform, repent, and make the necessary adjustments that I command the whole world through the Father of the nations. I am the Lord, I do not change and my words do not change. Hebrews 13, 4. Let marriage be honored by all, and the marriage bed free from defilement, for God will judge immorality and adultery. Right angle quotes. Soiling the marriage bed does not just mean sleeping with your wife before marriage. But any sexual act in the home that is contrary to my will is also a defilement of the conjugal bed. Thus when a woman cuts the pipe, that is to say puts the sex of her husband in the mouth, when she rides astride the man during the sexual act, when the man puts finger in the sex of his wife, lick or sodomize, when the couple uses contraceptive methods, when the couple takes sex in the sofa, on a chair, on a table, in the kitchen, in the shower, toilet, on a rock, in the car, on the beach, on the ground, against a pole or a tree, in the field or in the bush, such acts also constitute an important stain of the conjugal bed. This deforms the sexual act which, far from being a simple physical act, is the union of two souls to activate the love in which sits and reigns the Almighty. I appeal to the good sense of the authors of such acts, to become aware of their faults and to quickly stop such ignominies by me. I ask all those who have committed such acts to confess their sins, the Father of the nations will pray for them and they will become pure and holy. There are pastors who believe that it is enough for a young man and a girl to be in the same church to get married. Is this what my word says? Will the man call the woman who is in the same church or congregation wife? Far from there. He will call a woman his wife, who is a flesh of his flesh and a bone of his bones, the one taken from him. So all pastors around the world, who ask the faithful to marry each other just because they are in the same congregation, without seeking my will are dead standing. I would like couples, victims of this grave error on the part of church leaders, to know that they are on their way to hell. I would like all churches closed on themselves to know that they are wrong. In these churches, pastors forbid the faithful to marry the faithful of another church. Is the body of Christ divided? Do you think that the rib of a brother must be necessarily in the church where he adores? If that's what you imagine then you're wrong. All those who have married by arrangement or on the basis of infatuation are on their way to hell. Isaiah 4 1 
and seven women shall seize one man in that day, and say, We will eat our bread, and we will clothe ourselves with our garments. Just let us name you. Take away our shame. All those who refer to the above verse and say that women are more numerous than men, so they can be polygamous, or approve of polygamy, are on their way to hell. Satan has upset everything. The rib of a man who lives in the USA can be in Ghana. That of a man who lives in Burkina Faso can be in the Nin, etc. This is one of the reasons why I want to gather all my children scattered around the world in one place, spiritual Israel. Right Angle Quotes I ask all those who find themselves in these conditions to seek my face in the fuss and prayers in order to obtain from me a solution to their problem. But if they refuse, they will end up in hell at the end of their life on earth. John 4, 16-19 Go, said Jesus to him, call your husband, and come here. The woman answered, I have no husband. Jesus said to him, You were right to say, I have no husband. Because you had five husbands and the one you have now is not your husband. In that you said true. Lord, said the woman, I see you're a prophet. Do you think this woman stayed with the man who is not her husband after having met me? She put her life in order. If the clinical examination reveals to a couple that every time the woman conceives she will give birth to a dead child, will the man and the woman accept this situation? Either they will seek remedy for the situation, and if there is no cure, they will separate. If the clinical examination reveals to a couple that one of them has a transmissible incurable fatal disease, the other will say because I love you, stay together, and die together. Far from there. They will separate. And even if they decided to stay together, it would be foolish. I ask all my children all over the world to put their life in order. Otherwise they will not see me at the end of their life on earth, they will perish in hell. All those who are born again, and are currently in their respective homes or not and who know that they had previously lived a life of debauchery during which they had received either money or a material good from their partner, either abused him or her, or were on are required to make restitution in all areas. Even if it is a small handkerchief received or whatever is the most insignificant thing received, it is imperative to make restitution. They will then confess these sins, the father of the nations will pray for them and they will be forgiven. All those who refuse to conform to my word, the spirit of Shechem awaits them to destroy them permanently. Do not forget what the brothers of Dina, Levi and Simeon did to the Sycomites. Genesis 3 4 2 5 2 6 On the third day, while they were in pain, the two sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, brothers of Dina, each took their sword, fell on the city which thought itself safe and killed all the males. And Hammer and Shechem his son also passed over. They took dinner out of the house of Shechem and went out. I said in my word, if anyone destroys my temple, I will destroy him. 1 Corinthians 3 16-17 do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? 
If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him because the temple of God is holy and that's what you are. Let the whole world listen all those who have made or pushed people to perform abortions, whether it is a woman, a man or a health worker, the abortions cry out for vengeance. I ask the authors of such an act to confess this sin. The Father of Nations will pray for them, and will show them what must be done so that the vengeance that the abortions claim does not come upon them. Whoever refuses to conform to my word will not escape the torments. For I, Jehovah, torment those who are rebellious and rebel against me. These will be punished. They will suffer on the earth after the rapture of the saints. They will then perish in hell, so they will know that I have spoken and also Revelation 9, 1-6. The fifth angel sounded the trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from heaven on earth. The key of the pit of the abyss was given to her, and she opened the pit of the abyss. And there went up a smoke from the well as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke of the well. Smoke came out of the locusts that spread over the earth, and they were given power like the power of the scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth, nor any greenery, nor any tree, but only men who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. It was given to them, not to kill them, but to torment them for five months, and the torment they caused was like the torment the scorpion causes when he stings a man. In those days men will seek death, and they will not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. Matthew 13 50 it will be the same at the end of the world. The angels will come to separate the wicked from the righteous, and they will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. He who has an ear hears what I say in this end time. Please note any man who has deflected a woman during the sexual act transmits the sins of her generation to Adam with all possible demons. The man also receives the same from the woman. So there is no longer any difference between them and Satan and the demons. Satan therefore blinds them then takes their stars with all their blessings and gives them back his cursed star. They become the easy prey of Satan and the demons who manipulate them, strike them with disease, poverty, and all sorts of curses. In my infinite love, I have established my anointed with whom I have made covenant and invested with power to deliver my children to deliver them from the hold of their monstrous and evil creatures. He whom I have established and whom I point out to all my children all over the world is the father of the nations the Apostle the O.U.F.L. Ecoco Gabriel. My children will confess their sins after which the father of the nations will pray for them and then they will be delivered regardless of whether they have followed other deliveries before. James 2.19 You believe there is one God. You do well. The demons believe it too. And they tremble. I did not want my children to be like this.